this is Catherine Henry and welcome to Textbird Talks. I'm here with Fabien Baratti, the CEO of Amis of France. Hi Fabien. Hi Catherine. <laughs> and we're here in a mall in Manhattan to talk about retail experiences. Fabien is CEO of Emissive, which is an immersive and interactive experience agency. Fabien, I want to talk to you about how we would transform this space. But first, tell me a little bit more about what you do. So uh, I founded the MEC 13 years ago uh -huh. in Paris, and uh, now we're expanding to New York. What we do is we create uh, brand experiences focused on uh, retail mostly, uh, for, and we, we do that during events or in stores. Okay, so talk to me about some of the, you've worked with Adidas and Lacoste and some really big brands in, in Europe. What sort of experiences have you designed for them? Yeah, for, so we work for Adidas, Lacoste, Hermes, uh, Patek Philippe, lots of watchmakers. Hermes, uh, Patek Philippe. I actually saw the Patek Philippe one, and it was a wonderful experience where it exploded the uh, the watch. And as the viewer, you can go inside the watch. And obviously, for watch fanatics, learning about this specific part is very important, isn't it? Exactly. So we're always trying to, to, to tell a story. This is very important, of course, to, to, to pass the values of the brand. And also, when we speak about retail, we want to sell more and quickly. So that's our, or that's also our focus. So Fabian, tell me about some of the experiences that you've designed. So, for example, we made some uh, very poetic experience for Hermes, uh, in which you you pet the Pegasus uh, of Hermes and uh, fly with it all around. That's fun. Yeah, we made also something for. Uh, uh, Adidas, uh, in which you are a football, a soccer player actually, and uh, you choose your team, you choose your, your boots, your Adidas uh, soccer boots, uh, and uh, and then you try to score because you can really shoot the ball and try to score and win the and win the cup. So wait, so you did it actually in store? People could put on the shoes and then put on the headset and then play the game. Exactly, that that's the concept, and so you know if you. And if you win, if you win the cup with those shoes, you're more more likely to buy them. <laughs> I can imagine. And were people able to share this experience online? Were they? Was it recorded for them? Yeah. So each time to, we try to record uh, the, the the experience of each user. Uh, each user enter his email and receive an automatically edited uh, video of their experience that they can share on the social networks. I think that's fantastic and that's really an example of the perfect way to combine an experience that people can share with their friends but then also share it you know in real life but then also share it online. I actually saw that piece and I thought it was really fun. I mean that's the kind of thing especially when you have an event like uh, the World Cup that you can tie the two concepts together. But you can also do say Christmas events and you know Halloween and um, and Valentine's Day experiences. So even if you have the headsets, each one can be themed and it can be updated. You can also take something, I think, in, in a space like this, and then you can move it so that people know that it's coming next to a mall near you. So that's a concept that I think that retailers should do well to consider is a way of making something that is viral socially and also travels. So Fabian, I mean, you know, at Palpable Media, what we do is we try to transform uh, retail spaces, and so I thought it would be really fun to look around this space and talk about how we could transform it to make it more interesting for, for spectators and bring them upstairs, because it's one thing to come into a mall, but really to get them to circulate and to stay is a whole different thing. Wouldn't you agree? I agree, I agree. And so, uh, what we want to do in this kind of place is, is to, to uh, put some interaction inside. So, because you know, um, it's easy to, uh, to have some screens, it's easy to have uh, this kind of thing, but what we really want to do is to involve uh, the, 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 the public, the visitors. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to use some interactive screens or virtual reality or augmented reality and try to make uh, the public um, at loss. Yeah. Okay, so for me, I mean, what I can imagine is with all of this dead space, you create different experience centers. So on the one hand, it could be uh, it could be big hammocks where people come and chill out, and maybe they can you know watch a, a light display on the ceiling. Over there, you could have some of the egg chairs with with virtual reality. Um, on the pan wall panels, you could have interactive panels where they have different snap filter experiences, and maybe they get a card that uses you know that gives you a discount. Um, at local stores, but you can also use some of these spaces, I think, um, to merchandise, so that um, 
when they do a snap filter experience, it then gets shared socially. And so there's a way of integrating the experience with social sharing in such a way that people get really excited about it. And once they see it on somebody else's social feed, they're going to think, hey, I want to be there too. Would I agree. This is part of uh, part of the fun. And uh, uh, the mall itself, uh, it will want to will want to increase the traffic here and also increase the time spent on the premises. Exactly. So Fabien, thank you so much for your time today. It's been really awesome sharing this time with you at the uh, at the mall here in Manhattan. And um, I wish you continued success with all of your projects here and in Europe. Thank you, Catherine. This was great meeting you. Peace out.